Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Little Women, starring Cher Shay Ronan, forgive me if I said that wrong, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, or Pug, or something, forgive me if I said that wrong, Eliza Scanlon, Laura Dern, Timothy Chalamet, Chris Cooper, and Meryl Streep, and directed by Greta Gerwig. Now, I gotta ask, is this gonna top Lady Bird, as far as this director and the star goes? Let's see. Let's get into this movie. Joe March, played by Cher Shay Ronan, goes to Mr. Dashwood to expect, explain her story to him, and that is accepted by Mr. Dashwood, and Joe creates a new story about the, her childhood, and I like Joe as a narrator of her lifetime story, which is about her and her sisters, Meg, played by Emma Watson, Amy, played by Florence Pugh, forgive me if I said that wrong, and Beth, played by Eliza Scanlon. And the movie goes quite a bit back and forth between Joe's story writing and her childhood becoming a woman, and it confused me half to death. When I first saw this movie, I was trying to stay awake, but luckily did not fall asleep at all. It was almost there. In Concord, Massachusetts, where it takes place is a perfect location to shoot this movie, and kudos to Greta Gerwig for shooting it beautifully, Joe meets Theodore Laurie Lawrence, played by Timothy Chalamet, in where he shows how Joe how to dance, and I like that scene in the dance room when they are alone together. It was beautifully shot, as for the character Timothy Chalamet is playing, I don't really like his character, but the actor does a great job in general in the movies. In the past Christmas, on Christmas morning, the father is at war, at a war, and the mother, Marme, played by Lauren Dern, not playing a despicable character this time, suggests to feed the Har Harmish family, gives them their breakfast because they're poor, and I like them as characters, and Lori's grandfather gives their food to the marches. And I like the fact Greta Gerwig gives us some strong female characters, and that was the same case with Lady Bird, in my opinion. The character I really don't like is Aunt March, played by Meryl Streep, because she's obnoxious, and Meryl Streep is usually a great actress in other movies, but here, she's completely over the top, and she could have used a better character for a movie jammed with characters like this one. Like the one I really liked named Mr. Lawrence, played by Chris Cooper, who I really enjoyed in this movie as a father figure, especially for Beth. Because Amy burnt Joe's novel, and as she's pissed at her, Joe goes ice skating with Laurie, and she almost drowned, and the movie goes to the present day, and Beth isn't doing very well, and we go back to the past, and Meg goes to the to a ball for a week and Meg gets disrespected by Laurie about her dress and honestly I was having a really hard time following this movie and she is called Daisy uh, Meg I'm talking about by the other g girls and this is the point I like Lady Bird better as far as I'm concerned I can follow that movie more than where than here but I do like the sh I do love the shots they're fantastic to see on screen particularly at the beach for example Joe cuts her hair and Marwi goes to Washington DC and Joe earns $25 for her haircut and Marwi checks hat on the father and we go back to Amy and Lori in present day and Lori tells Amy not to marry her fiance who I forgot his name off the top of my head to be clear but but asks her to marry Lori and the production design looks beautiful and I really like the set decoration throughout the movie Mr. Lawrence gives Beth the piano and these scenes are working for me until she gets ill. She feels better and Lori brings back the father for Christmas. And I did like that scene from the past, but in present day, Beth unfortunately dies, which was a sad scene in my opinion. I will confess that now. Devastated by Beth's death, Amy goes back home and brings Lori and Joe wants to marry Lori. But unfortunately, she's too late as he because before she didn't believe in marriage, Joe I'm talking about, as he marries Amy, and Joe is sad about it, and he always loved Joe, but as a friend. And I do like their relationship throughout the movie. 
Joe writes a book called Little Women and shows it to Mr. Dashwood and opens a school for boys and girls as she has left Aunt March's house. And Mr. Dashwood loves the story and the man Joe falls in love with named Frederick who visits their home and they get to know him and he plays the piano and he takes off to California and Joe goes after Frederick and she finally marries him and publishes her book and I really like this ending as an ending for a movie in my opinion especially a uh, a young movie about someone who needs to get married by the end of the day now it's time for the rating I'll give this movie a 7.8 out of 10. Not quite as good as Lady Bird. The first half was making me sleepy, but it got better by the end of the day. I like the four little women as well as Laura Dern and Chris Cooper's character, but I don't like the characters of Timothy Chalamet and Meryl Streep because they felt a little despicable. Not Laura Dern, thank God. Excuse my French. And because they... And I love the shots and the production and design and set decoration. It makes the movie look good. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And next week I will be back with Ford vs. Ferrari and 1917 before the Oscars ever get presented. And until next time, and the Oscar goes to.